But you guys can't guess what I got. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. For those of you that watched my last video, I'm pretty sure that you can um, definitely guess what I got. What's up guys? I just got done renewing my CCW license. It expires in a few days, so I had to get that done. I am very behind on an update, so I am going home to work on the tank. I'll just give you guys a visual. My glass is dirty. So here's what I'm going to use. The hubby picked one of these up for me at Rap California. Guys, I got a magnet. Super excited. As you guys know, I was cleaning with a sponge on the last video, I think, and I was freaking out because the clownfish kept trying to bite me. So here's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to open this up. This is a flipper. So let's open it up and take a look. And those of you that aren't familiar, um, basically on here it's saying that this is the only aquarium cleaner that can flip from scrubber to scraper by rotating the handle. So complete cleaning without getting your hands wet. My hand touches the water. I am a woman. I like lotion and things, and so therefore, I don't want any of that in my tank. All right, so let's see. Feels pretty strong. So we got it flipped around and it is getting all this gunk off. get to clean the other side. This thing works awesome guys. This is perfect. I definitely needed this a long time ago before I was trying to stick my hands in here and clean. Um, but hey, that's okay. I got it now and it's working awesome. So I don't have to put my hands in the tank. I can just use this. It flips without even having to put your hands in the tank. You can go from scrubber to scraper, basically, on either side. 
There's a ton of stuff right now floating around. Probably going to do a water change as well. A um, small one, I don't know, five gallon water change. And I'll show you guys my skimmer is working back there because it has stuff in it. So that means I get to clean I can clean that out. I'll share that with you in just a second and show you what it looks like. It looks pretty yucky. So, but first, let me finish getting this last thing. As you guys can see, I do have the, um, still some algae on the rocks where it looks like the, from the diatom bloom, but I want to say that if I had, um, had that turkey baster to blow the rocks off, that would probably just come right off. I haven't seen, like, any increased amount of algae growth, so... All right, guys, so I did put the um, white light on. Somebody, I think, in the last video had asked for white <laughs> light. The dogs are probably going to start fighting, but you guys can see. So on the rocks, I've got that, which I did just clean the glass, and a ton of stuff came off. So some of that on the rock is definitely floating around from that. Um... This anemone is doing absolutely amazing in here. Like, he's always opened up. He looks happy. He seems to be thriving. No, no issues. Anemones are a good indicator to tell you, you know, if something doesn't look right. A lot of times the anemone will shrivel up and does not look like it's normal self. So the tank is doing good. I haven't added anything else. I've just been letting it do its thing. So I'll give you a peek at this um You can see it's like, I don't know, it looks kind of dark, but you can see it's filled up some with yuck, and the cylinder in the middle is full of waste that it's pulled out of the water. So I'm going to get that cleaned up and do a water change. That'll be the next video. So, but for today, I just wanted to give you guys the update show you what I'm working with, show you what it looks like, and share with you my new flipper magnet. All right guys, well that concludes this video here. I am going to actually get my shoes and stuff on and run across the street to Dollar Tree and get me a turkey baster so I can come back and try to clean up these rocks a little bit. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I posted a picture on Instagram, so if you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you do. Rico's Reef Tank um, on Instagram. I posted a picture of a bubble tip anemone that I saw at Aquatic Experience, and it was absolutely amazing. I want to say it was called a rainbow bubble tip anemone, and I wanted it so bad. Of course, it was very expensive and I did not get a piece but that is definitely on my list I need one of those I'm really drawn to anemones for some reason which is kind of making me think about doing I've only seen one anemone tank ever that I've personally seen and that was at Worldwide Coral and he just interrupted my video <laughs> Sorry. and so um, I'm really thinking about it. It's definitely on my mind. I feel like it would be a less complicated tank.
tank for me to, as my first tank, to try to maintain, take care of. And I love them. Like, I'm obsessed with anemones. So. Well, it's definitely a thought. You guys let me know what you're thinking. Also, I need, I'm thinking about a new light. A lot of you guys have said that you don't think my light is going to do enough for the things that I want to put in the tank. So I need to, I'm considering a new light. I just got to look and figure out which light I'm going to go with. If you guys have recommendations, definitely throw them in the comments below. And I'm going to get on these updates. You